everyone welcome to electronics tutorial series today we will uh, make some bandpass filter active band, bandpass filters in two stages with operational amplifiers and we will gauge some uh, different frequencies inputs and we will observe how this circuit responds to the frequencies at the output okay by using the frequency response plot block here in Proteus let's get started from scratch okay I will create a new project okay uh, let's give another name it doesn't matter okay at first we should put our components and we should select our components first let's uh, put our operational amplifiers but they should be uh, ideal ideal op amp okay let's choose this one okay and we need two operational amplifiers for this purpose and we should mirror them because i will use them in non-inverting uh, mode okay we will need some resistors and also capacitors too so put them too <laughs> doesn't matter which resistor you use uh, capacitor let's use this one we can change that values later let's get some resistor sorry yeah let's choose this one we can change their values later and we will need four ground references for this circuit also we need some input too all right so we will give some sine wave and we will observe the output the output voltage by using the voltage prop from this section also we will need a graph frequency graph from this graph section okay you can change its size like this let's get started to build the circuit okay we should first uh, make the high pass filter stage because we don't need to amplify unnecessary signals by provided by the dc offset or uh, some noises for this purpose we can use the high pass filter first let's connect this capacitor to our operational amplifier first and we will need a resistor uh, in actually let's put it like this okay i want to first make this connection and then let's connect connect our wires like this okay we will give our input signal here and let's uh, 
connect our other resistors like this the feedback and the other resistor okay we will change the ear value later for getting the exact output okay our first stage is done let's construct our second stage we will uh, build the low pass filter here we will connect our first operation amplifiers output to the second one's input like this all right uh, we will need this capacitor in this form okay okay for simplicity I will just make the same connection All right, uh, let's build our output to here too. And we will observe the output with the voltage probe. Okay, let's name our input output. This is VI. Okay, and this is V out. Now, uh, let's give some necessary values to our components, but first of all, you should be aware of the uh, game bandwidth product, okay, GBP. You should select it high. Why? Because uh, it can affect your output. Because of this purpose, I uh, made it too large. Okay, let's give our uh, capacitor resistor values in here. I want to say this one 100 nanofarads. And I would like to say this one 10 nanofarads. Okay. For this resistor, let's give uh, 330 ohms. Okay, uh, I want to make double check. Okay, everything is fine. I want to give this one one mega ohm, one m, one m. Okay, also this one one m. This resistor two point two kilo. Okay, this resistor four point seven. Okay, and this resistor I want to give it um, 330 actually for the high pass stage uh, it was 680 sorry okay uh, now we will uh, show the frequency response graph what's our input and output from the graph section we will add trace and we will select vi also again do the same thing for v out too to observe the input output also i want to observe the output from uh, one hertz okay to one megahertz you can also change the decades intervals etc from the here and let's start our simulation
Okay, after we define these vi vout variables, we should select our reference as vi, v input, okay? And then uh, we can, by simply uh, pressing, I want to see it clearly, I increase the size of the frequency bars, and uh, by simply pressing this simulate graph, we can observe the uh, frequency response curve like this and also you can see it's more detailed version by clicking right click and select maximize show window yeah as you can see here uh, you can also calculate it theoretically uh, you can observe the output like this uh, at which frequency what's our gain okay you can see it for example for minus 3 db okay for minus 3 db it's appro approximately that the frequency uh, is 2.4k okay so when it, our input frequency is 2.4k uh, our output is minus 3 db all right so the voltage drops to uh, 0.7 times as the output at the output side also for the high frequency for half high frequency uh, minus 3 db our uh, frequency is approximately 0.7 